Hey everybody, I am John Barker and welcome to episode number two of Here to Records Show and Tell. This is the series all about gear for live streaming and recording and live editing, all sorts of gear. Let's take a look today at the MDHX from Decimator Design. This is a cross converter, it's got a scaling built in and frame rate conversion. Let's take a closer look. So now we're up close and personal with the device. Um, here we have a nice little LCD screen. That's where you see the uh, options, the settings, some buttons here to uh, make those options and save those settings. And um, on the side, on this side, we have uh, power, which is a nice little lockable power, uh, power port. Here we have some USB for uh, updating the, the software. Uh, HDMI in and out. On the other side, we have a whole lot of really nice looking uh, BNC connectors for your SDI cables. You have uh, input right here at the very uh, at the very top, and then you have output one and output two. Um, this is nice for if you just want to do one simple in to one simple out, or you can go one in to four out. There's a bunch of options. We'll get to them a little bit later. And finally, on the back, we have some mounting uh, screw holes right here, and this little panel is for the fan. I've never actually heard the fan running, so I've never used it for long enough that I've needed that. But um, at least you've got the option there, just in case the device starts to heat up. It's a really thin, really simple, really nicely made device, and uh, I like it a lot. But let's take a closer look at the menus and the settings and see how it all works. I've got my power cable here. I'm just going to plug it in and uh, screw it in and get this going. Okay, so now that the device is powered on, you can see on the LCD uh, you have your input uh, status, and you have here HDMI is the uh, is the middle one, SDI at the top, HDMI. And then D, that stands for your down up cross converter. So right now I have nothing plugged into the SDI or the HDMI. That's why it's saying no signal input. And then on the uh, D, that's what it will be converted to. So if you can just about see there, it is 1080i50. And that's what I use for most of my uh, live streaming, live events, 1080i50. Um, and then I just plug in SDI or HDMI, depending on what the venue has, and that will convert it to 1080i50 and go into my ATEM switcher. The other really useful thing about this little uh, S and H is whenever you plug in a HDMI or an SDI feed, it will tell you what that feed is coming in at, which is really useful for troubleshooting at events to see what they're giving you, or even if you've got a camera, you just wanna see what it's outputting through its HDMI for port, for example, you can just plug it in and see on the display what it is, and then you can decide if you need to cross convert it, or maybe it's already okay to plug into your other devices. So we're not gonna go into too much detail on the menus here, but I am gonna just flick through and show you, you have some control options. So uh, if I enter into those, then you can see where you can set the uh, SDI out. Um, flicking through a little more, you have plenty of options in here. You can see other things like where the down up cross converter source will be and where the reference will be, things like that. I'll just back out of there. That's control. You have options for scaling. This is where you set uh, what you want to scale to. So in my instance, like I said, I'm scaling to 1080i50 and uh, I'll just leave it like that. Next up, you have some audio settings, some setup, just basic setup for the device. For example, do you want the LCD to switch off after a few seconds? And then we just get around to the input uh, status again. So that's pretty much it. It's a pretty basic device in terms of the settings, but that doesn't mean it's not powerful. And it is extremely powerful. It's nice to have this little LCD on here so you can just flick through and decide what uh, input settings you want, what output scaling settings you want. And that's a little overview of the device. I just wanna show you really quickly the USB interface on the computer for the device. So I've got the USB cable uh, plugged in and on my computer I can just scan for uh, devices. I can connect multiple devices and they'll probably all be in here. I've only got one. That's it right there. And um, I can set a custom name for it. I can update the firmware if I want. I can change the control options, the scaling options. In here is a really nice glance at all of the possible scaling options. Um, I'll stick with my uh, 1080i50, there we go. And I can change a bunch of other things, including the audio, where that gets rooted to, and the setup for the LCD screen, and the, uh, the status time, and things like that. And that is pretty much it for the uh, USB control. It's pretty similar to the LCD control, but um, yeah, it works really nice to just jump into the computer and do it that way, instead of pressing these buttons and, and do it that way.
So in terms of the pros and the cons of this device, I would say one massive pro is that it's uh, quite affordable, and I'll get to the price in a second. It comes with cables, so it comes with this nice uh, red HDMI to HDMI cable. It comes with its own USB cable, comes with the power cables, comes with the adapter plate for these little screws. So in that, in that sense, it comes with a lot of nice stuff that you actually do need to, uh, to operate the device. It's always nice to see when cables are included, even if you don't need them, they're nice to have. And the final thing I like about it is the uh, lockable uh, power cable. That way if you get it in there and you screw it, no one's gonna jam that thing out. It's gonna stay on as long as you need it to stay on. So I really like that. Uh, one of the main cons for me is that it's hard for me to actually mount this as, as good it is to have the mountable uh, little bracket on the back. It's really difficult for me to mount this in my particular setup, but uh, that's because cables are coming in this way and coming out that way, and there's a screen on the front, and there's also a thing on the back, so it's kind of hard to say where I would mount this, but again, that's just a particular problem for myself. It's not really much of a con, just for me, I have to carry this around separate instead of being able to put it in my, uh, in my normal flight case, so uh, that's just a small thing. So I can't really fault it at much more than that. It's uh, really, really, really well made, works really well, never really had much problem with it. And in that sense, it's definitely worth the money um, I've spent on it. Speaking of money, this was, uh, I believe, £250, excluding VAT. So uh, I'll let you figure out in your local price what that is. But for that price, this will convert my cameras or my GoPro or uh, a presenter's laptop, and it'll go straight into my switcher, a 1080i50, and it works pretty much every time. It, it works really well. If it doesn't work, it's probably something I'm doing rather than the device itself. Um, so that's a pretty good price. For an extra roughly £50, you can get the MD uh, Cross, which adds some other little features like uh, overlays and things like that. But for me, this is pretty much everything I, I want it to be. And uh, that's the MDHX. Thank you for watching episode number two of Here to Record Show and Tell. And we will see you again next time. Goodbye. This is the show where we show. This is the show where we show. Ba -ba 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 -ba.